Hello everybody and welcome to this Sims 3 house building video. Now today I'm building a modern beachside house called Vista. Now there's a couple of reasons why I've called it that. One is because it's built in Monte Vista which is a store world um, which you can get for an extravagant price off the Sims 3 store and also because it is like over the water so it has stunning views and um, I really like how it turned out. Now, the lot I'm building it on is customly placed in Monte Vista, so it's not like a normal lot in the world. So, if you download it, it's gonna, it would be a bit of a problem, I guess, um, if you want to place it, because it's kind of like a, um, it's not a flat lot, so it's kind of like a custom lot, because half of it goes into the water. So, what the, probably the best thing to do is just to... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the best thing to do is, to be honest. Um, I kind of built it near the lighthouse in the world. If you have the world, you can go and see. It's kind of near the lighthouse. Um, it's like a little bit of beach area um, on the far side, um, near the really big empty lots. But anyway, that's if you want to download it. And of course, you don't have to, but if you like it, you can. Anyway, this um, is the beginnings of it, and it does turn out to look quite different than it does now. Um, it's actually a very interesting look because it's the house is kind of in two halves. There's like this main section which I'm building right now, and then there's another section which is like a bit smaller, and um, is only connected by like a an outside walkway, which to be honest in real life probably would not be the most um, delightful thing because you're right on the water and if there's a hurricane or something you would probably not want to go outside to have to cross between houses, <laughs> but. Um, and never mind, this is The Sims. We don't get severe weather. Um, so right here, you can see I built the two houses, and I was trying to connect them with a bridge. Um, and I wanted this bridge to be enclosed, which was kind of the one of the reasons for the um, issue. So I ended up just giving in and making it um, outside bridge. So you can see here, I was just trying to figure out the best way to do this. And um, it could probably be done, but I didn't know how, and I spent a lot of time messing around trying to figure it out, which was a little bit annoying because I couldn't figure out how to do what I wanted. So um, I just kind of settled with a um, a bridge that, like that right there, you can see a bridge that just is all outside, but there's kind of like an indent in the other half of the house. So um, yeah, that's the way I did it. So on the larger half of the house, I have a, a living room, dining room, kitchen, study, and there's like a games room kind of thing. And the other half, the smaller half, has three, no, it's four, four, sorry, four bedrooms and most of the bathroom. So there is a half bath on the um, bigger side of the house. And also what's interesting is these two houses, well, I don't know if I call them houses, these two parts of the house, I should say, aren't actually the same height. So the um, second house, well, that's, oh, what am I talking about? The second part of the house, like the bigger half, it's not really the second part, really the first part, the bigger half, is actually two foundation height above the ground, while the other one is just one. So they're not at the same level, which would be kind of annoying for gameplay, but it looks really cool, so that's what I went with. Anyway, right here I'm doing the roof, as you can see, and I have um, lots of little stages and stuff on the roof, which makes it look very interesting. I like to do that in my modern houses quite a lot, as you can see, like my last previous modern houses, my two last ones, I think it's been two, um, use the same kind of thing. Anyway, uh, as for the colors on the outside, I go for black and like a yellowish green kind of color, like, like a yellow green, not that green that I have there, I do change it. Um, like the front is, yeah, that color actually is what I use. The front has a lot of green on it. And the back has a lot of black on it, but they kind of intermix. So you can see here, here's the front of the house where I have a lot of green and um, and then a little bit of black accents. And I also used white as well. So I really like the colors. I don't know why. I guess just because they're so simple and modern. Just um, black, white, and gray now it is. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't I remember I used gray, but now I know. Um, so you can see here, this part of the house is very black. Um, with the green accents, it's kind of like the other way around. One half is green with black accents, and the other half is black with green accents, if you will. So that's kind of what I did. And you can see here, I'm changing the color of the foundations on the roof. And um, I used black um, for the main part of the roof, and green and gray for the foundations. 
So, um, I think I'm going to be starting out Windows pretty soon, though I'm not sure. Um, I'm just kind of changing these under roof bits and those colors of that. And, um, yes, here we go with Windows. So, it's interesting here with this front part. Um, on the opera level, I use these, like, Into the Future windows on the top of the wall, and the second floor, I use them on the bottom of the wall, as you can see, which I thought kind of looked interesting. And over here on this part, I use them on the top and bottom of each wall. So, um, I don't know, I thought it looked kind of cool. I love those windows, to be honest, I use them a lot. Um, those, like, really skinny windows, you can see. Um, I don't know why, I just like them. These windows, well, not these, those windows I just placed, um, over there. Um, I do change them to a more appropriate type. But right here, I'm putting in the big into the future windows on the back of the house, just because, um, you know, you want to have a li nice light come in. And, um, yeah. So, pretty much that's that half of the house windowed in. And I'm doing this half, um, so again, it's the same kind of thing. There's a lot of nice windows uh, looking out to the water on the back, and um, and I'm just adding in those little skinny windows yet again. And um, there's some more doors there, um, so you can get out to the balconies. And I use these little windows here. I think I think I change them. I don't think I keep them that way. But um, anyway, the front door now is coming in. I use that front door, I believe, from um, University Life, and then I change out those windows with those. But I thought it looked nicer, and I liked the kind of black in them. I thought it was a bit more detailed. Um, so you can see I used those in there, and I, I like them better, so that's why I did it. And um, I put them along the side and the front there. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much the windows done, I think. And I'm going to be doing the floor plan. So this is the floor plan of the first floor of the first half of the house. And um, there's a nice fireplace kind of going through the middle. I did remove the chimney. And... Um, so, and then the other half just has pretty much the master bedroom on the first floor. Um, I don't know when I get there. I used a glass staircase in the back of the house, um, which like right there, which I thought was kind of good because it had that, I had that little thing, <laughs> if you will, like that little rectangular room I didn't know what to do with. I just threw the stairway in there and it worked out pretty well. So on the second level, here's a half bathroom, a study, and a game room. So this half of the house here, I'm pu I put the stairs along this wall and put the windows back. So the second level on the second part of the house has three bedrooms and two bath, I think it's just one bathroom to be honest, and a laundry room. And this is the master here where I have um, a giant master bathroom, which I've just gone upstairs now. Um, I'm all confused, a lot of rotating. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna do the landscaping. To kind of break the landscaping up, I do most of it at the beginning before I go inside and then I finish it up at the very end I just touch it up so that's kind of the way I went so to start off I'm just making the decks or well, balconies I don't know what they really classify them as and I made them this nice black kind of tile as you can see there which I thought kind of looked really classy and I just used it in all the um, balconies and such so right here I'm going to start on the pathway which is dirt Interestingly enough, um, I don't know how well dirt would work on sand, but I used dirt because I didn't really want to do paving stones just because the house kind of was like out in the beach, so I just thought dirt looked better. But anyway, I used these palm trees from Roaring Heights. I love the palm trees from Roaring Heights, and these little ones too are also from Roaring Heights. I just love the plants from that world. They look really nice. And the little poppies are from um, Monte Vista as well. So I'm using uh, some grass under the plants and um, some bamboo there with some more little poppies and um, just like some of those leafy things, like banana leaf things, I don't know what they're called. And um, a little stairway there. And that's pretty much, I think, all I do at the beginning and then I come back at the end and um, add a lot more to make it look more lush and stuff like that. Also, I add a... Um, a dock for boats um, near the middle of the video, so you'll see that later um, out the back. So I don't do that yet. Um, in the front of the house, I think I use glass um, railings, and at the back, I use this kind of metal, if um, kind of railing. I just use that on this little part here and on the giant back balconies. But um, here we're starting on the interior, and I have nice large white tiles, and then these smaller white tiles on the walls. I really like the combination, and I use this light kind of green color um, inside, 
and I used this warm color on the floor, and I really like it. I think it looks really nice. Um, I'm going to do wood as well. I do a really light colored wood, if I remember correctly, not dark. Um, uh, yeah, I go in the opposite direction of that, and I think I use almost white. Yeah, I do that. So I think it looks a lot nicer. Um, so this is the kitchen, which I believe we start out with. Yeah, we do. So um, these are the count counters. Um, so we have a nice light wood on them and this interesting blue countertop, which I thought kind of contrasted the white walls. Um, so this is this nice island, and I do a lot a lot of shelving units on this back wall. Um, I'm not sure what I was thinking, but I just threw them all here on the back wall and um, went mad with it. And I just put all these shelving units in columns. And, I mean, it turned out pretty nice, actually. I do like that. I also threw some decorative items underneath them. I put in some books and some shoes and like a little sailboat. When we get to that, there's some more books, there's shoes, and there's a little sailboat. I thought that looked pretty cool. Um, but now I'm going to do the appliances, and I believe I do a double fridge, but I'm not sure. No, I don't, yeah. I do single fridge and single oven, because the double looked weird. So, some little cabinets, and, um, a sink right there, and I put a couple columns on the other side of it, which I thought was kind of nice, um, interesting detail. Uh, I, I throw them against the wall, so they're kind of not sticking out as much, which looked a bit weird. But, um, I thought it was an interesting detail. So some small appliances on the counters, and I believe I put in the rug pretty soon, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so there are some details like soap and paper towels. And um, so I'm just doing some wall lights um, under the windows just to make it a bit brighter. And there's the rug I was talking about. And I do make it a light, really bright light blue, which I change later to a more grayish blue throughout the house. Um, like on all the rugs in the house, you'll see I change them all later. So this is the dining room where I have a double dining table and really interesting aqua colored chairs. Um, you'll see I get to that. Um, yeah, there we go. And I thought that kind of, I don't know, was kind of bright and beachy. Got a matching painting. And I was going to put some plants there, but I didn't. And I put a china cabinet instead and some shelves under the windows, which I thought was kind of nice. You can put stuff on them, though I didn't. And those really big kind of fanny plants. I don't know what you call them. I threw those on your side of the windows as well. And um, I put like a little buffet table thing, even though it doesn't function as one. I, um, where is that? I, um, t I threw it in. It's just made out of counters. There it is. Um, which I thought was, it was okay. It kind of worked. Threw a little decorative item on it. And um, there's the rug, which I do change the color later on, as I said before. So we're going to be Moving on to the living room pretty soon, I think. Um, yes, we are. So this is the living room, which is so nice because the view, you can see these glass windows just looking right out to the um, ocean. And uh, all the furniture kind of faces toward this fireplace, and I have a games room upstairs with a flat screen television, so don't have to worry about that there being no TV. Um, so there's the couch, nice sectional sofa, and I put in a couple lime green chairs just to add some color. Um, See, I do that in a moment once I figure out placement of the chairs. So, um, yes, there we go. Stunning lime green. I thought I just added a little bit of color to it because um, it was a little bit of a dull room. And um, I believe I changed the color of the fireplace later too to like a white stone marble thing, um, if I remember. So um, there's the rug, um, which I, again I changed the color of. And uh, yeah, there's the fireplace, which is now white. Um, I throw a fish tank under the stairs and a little telescope in the corner, and um, I close off that little area because it was not necessary um, to be seen. So pretty much, I think that's the first level done except for the entrance. I'm going to probably come back and touch it up a little bit later. Um, yeah, but anyway, this is the entrance way where it's pretty simple. There's just a painting um, and some little shoes and a little mat um, and a little table to place stuff on. I didn't really put much on the table, I just um, put a phone. <laughs> that was it, just put a phone and um, some more lighting. I'm changing up the lighting actually. Yeah, I'm putting in different lights that seemed a bit more appropriate and that was that. So now I'm heading to the second level of the first part of the house. And um, up here, this is the game room area. I make a sectional sofa out of these two sofas here. They glitch a little bit, but it looks kind of nice, so I kept it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm looking for. 
Uh, oh yeah, I was looking for some pillows to put on the sofa. I know they exist, because I've used them before, but I couldn't find them, so I gave up. Um, but uh, there's a little coffee table that kind of looks like branches in it, which I thought was nice. It has a nice colorful, like, purple, pink, blue painting over the black couch as well. And there's some nice little um, luxurious chairs there for your Sims to sit in and enjoy. So right here, I'm doing the television, right there, nice flat screen TV. So you can sit in the couch and you can see the TV and the ocean at once because the TV is kind of like in front of the ocean, but, you know, not really covering up the view entirely. So um, there's another rug, and um, I'm also going to throw in a door there, which is very useful. And I also put in a pool table right next to this bathroom I'm doing right now, which looks pretty cool. So it kind of adds the game room aspect to the room. So this is the little half bath, which I like these cabinets over the the um, toilet and that little sh um, shelving unit with towels and such on it. I thought it looked kind of cool. Um, so that's pretty much the bathroom. Very basic. Just, you know, some objects thrown in a little room to make a bathroom. So pretty much that's that. A Sim City Cities of Tomorrow poster um, uh, there, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, maybe the people that live here are a fan of Sim City. You never know. So this is the pool table. Um, which I really like. Uh, I thought it was a nice place for it there. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much that little area on the second floor done. And I'm just doing the stairway here. Um, I was going to use these little light things, but um, I didn't like them, so I ended up using my classic light, which I use in stairways, um, this little base game light, which I put in there, and I put them along this wall to add interest. And I also throw some windows in because it was a little bit dark in there, a little bit depressing. Um, so there's a bookshelf there, and um, I believe I put some artwork over it, yes I do, and it's a little shell thing on the wall, and um, this is going to be the study here, this that big empty room, um, which I'm going to come back to, I believe. There's some rugs, I'm just um, adding more rugs. Here's where I change the color, you can see I make it more gray, which I thought was more fitting, and um, yeah, it's pretty much that, and um, I think we're going to do the study soon. Not sure. I'm going to put in some more artwork, and, um, yes, so here we go. This is going to be the study. I put some fancy little columns on the walls, and, um, this room is really cool, in my opinion. I really like it. It's really large, but yet it's well furnished. Like, it's not, like, cold or open. It's pretty cozy, even though it's very large. Um, so you have, like, a nice large sitting area, so, I don't know, if your sim is a businessman or something, they can have clients over, or, I don't know. I guess it'd be a lawyer or designer or something. Um, I put a grand piano in the back corner, like so, and a little chess table as well. So, um, you know, you can have kind of be like a skill building room slash study as well. A nice large painting, some plumb bob artwork. And I make the walls gray as well. Um, yeah, so pretty much that's that. I put in some plants at the back. And, um, of course, a rug, because that's pretty necessary. And that's pretty much that for the study. And I'm going to put in some curtains on the smaller windows. I don't put curtains or blinds in the back, because, frankly, no one's going to be looking into that back, because it's just the ocean, unless there's someone boating by. But um, that's just a pity. Um, so I only put them on the smaller windows, kind of like in the front and side of the house. So right here I'm doing the dock, which I mentioned earlier. So I put in a couple boats here, which do increase the price of the house quite dramatically. <laughs> so um, I have a speedboat and um, another boat like that, you can see there. So I got a couple boats in, and the color on that boat matches the color on the house exactly, which is very interesting. And yeah, that's pretty much the dock right there, so you can have um, a little boating collection. So that's pretty nice. So here I'm going to start on the second wing of the house, where I have the bedrooms. And um, uh, this little area up here, I put kind of like a gaming area in there, but I think I do it lit, not a gaming area, like a play area, which I do it later. Um, you'll see that. Um, but I think I'm taking a break. I'm not sure what I'm doing, to be honest. This is very professional commentary. Um, yeah, doors, there we go. Yeah, so down here on the very bottom level, uh, where the master bedroom is, kind of like near this entrance, I put in like a little lounge area where you can just sit back and look at the water or the boats, rather, which kind of obstruct the view, but that's a shame. Um, yeah, once I get back there, I don't know what I'm doing. I've just took a, I've just taken a little run off to the other part of the house to throw in some plants. But anyway, yeah, I'm putting in some curtains and um, some, and yeah, touching up this stairway actually. So um, you can see here, you can have a nice lit up stairway. Now here we go. I'm just gonna 
and actually put some rugs in and finish up this area down here. So I put like a poster of um, a man with wings on a horse um, with some plants and I put like a little table down here which matches the entrance to the front of the house. And um, yeah, looks pretty nice. Um, I believe I put in some lights. Yes, I do. And yes, so I'm also going to do the bathroom down here. So there is a bathroom on the first level of this house, which isn't the master. So there's two bathrooms down there. It's kind of weird because there isn't a bedroom or actually any really room there, but there was space, so I just I put a bathroom in. So um, yeah, so it's just pretty much matches the bathroom that's on the second floor, but um, it has a shower in it, so it's a bit more convenient. And um, yeah, it's pretty much that. And then I believe I copied upstairs because I have the exact same bathroom right above it. So this is the little play area I was talking about. It's just pretty simple. It's got like a little train toy set, a toy train set, and a um, colorful couch. So, I mean, it's not really much of a play area to be honest. But, um, yeah, that was that. A little mosaic piece of art there. And like a little Into the Future rug. And that was pretty much that. And, um... The bathroom up here, the guest bathroom, I pretty much copy it from downstairs, exactly. Um, you'll see I do that in a second. Yeah, here we go. So I just make it exactly the same. They're both exactly the same place and exactly the same size, and they have all exactly the same objects. So they're identical, but it was the easiest way to do it, and um, I like it to be nice and symmetrical. So this is the laundry room, which has a sink and a washer and a dryer, and it's pretty much it. Um, I do a little fancy cabinet thing over the uh, machines um, because you can see here I don't think I do it like that I do plants instead I believe but um, I like it I think it turned out pretty nicely yeah there we go and a little mirror so I like that nice little laundry room pretty simple and um, I'm gonna be moving on to the first guest bedroom which is a really nice blue color and I really like it a lot um, you can see here I'm doing that now it's kind of got this nice light blue on the walls and um, nice bluish bedspread kind of thing going on and a nice matching painting which I like a lot and I put like this little curtain thing over the bed like over the painting um, you'll see that in a moment I think that looks pretty nice as well so um, right here I just have like a little dresser area and I put a painting over it uh, I put a green painting actually which doesn't really match the room but I did it anyway and there's a little plant there, a little plant there, and um, a little tissue box, which is useful. And um, a little treasure chest. Yeah, there's the curtain thingy over the bed, which I thought was kind of interesting. I don't know. Looks luxurious, so I did it. Um, and there's the rug. And um, yeah, that's pretty much this room done. Pretty simple room. Got all the essentials in it in a very stylish fashion. And um, this one has blinds. Yeah, all the bedrooms have blinds because I thought that would be pretty nice. Um, if you're trying to sleep, um, there's like a little thing there, like a piece of artwork. And um, we're moving on to the second guest room, which is like an orange, brown, reddish color. Pretty much the warm bedroom, while well, that one was the cold bedroom, um, if you will. So um, all the bedrooms, uh, guest bedrooms for that matter, have black carpet, but they're all different patterned. Um, but they're all the same color, pretty much. So this bedroom, as you can see, got a nice bright orange bedspread, which I like a lot. And um, so yeah, it's pretty much this room. Um, just pretty much the basic layout of it, as you can see here. And just detailing it, really. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much this room finished. So it's a pretty simple bedroom. It's got a little chair in it, a little table, pretty nice little nook there. And I'm going to be doing a kid's bedroom next, um, which I think turned out pretty nicely, actually. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to have this really nice, like, these really nice panning shots, which I've been doing recently. And most of the house, annoyingly, like, gets this black ceiling glitch, and it's been mentioned before. And I don't know why it does it. It's, I, I should look it up, actually. <laughs> I might, um, so it can be prevented in my next video. But, um, when I get to that part of the video, which is going to be coming, actually, pretty soon, to be honest, um, where this is the second to last bedroom, um, but anyway, um, so please excuse that. Um, it's not really anything I did. The black ceiling that you'll see um, aren't black. They're actually white. I do like white ceilings, so the whole house actually does have white ceilings in it. But anyway, that's to come, so I should actually be talking about what's happening now. So yeah, so this bedroom, this kid's room, has the whole collection of the scary bears from Supernatural, which is very exciting. You can see them all against the wall there under the windows. Um, 
So this is kind of like the end result of the kids' room, which I really like. Uh, it's got like nice little oars over the double bunk bed. A double bunk bed, no such a thing. A bunk bed, um, and a little painting of a dancing freezer bunny thing. And um, that's pretty much the that part of the house done. So this is the master bedroom, the last room inside the house to do. And I love it so much. It turned out so nicely. Because I have this um, bed on a corner. As you can see, and I don't know if it's usable. I'll be honest, I don't know. I didn't test it with a sim. So I don't know if it's actually usable, but if it isn't, you know, you can always fix it yourself. <laughs> but um, I use these curtains from Roaring Heights and then these columns in there, and I put in some plants as well, and it looks really cool, actually. Like the background, like the background, the backdrop, like behind the bed. I think that turns out really nicely, as you can see the way it's looking now. And I really like the way it turned out. So the master bedroom is a really nice color scheme. It's like light blue, orange, peachy, and white. And even though that doesn't sound the best, it does turn out really nicely. Um, you can see there's the plants I put in there. And I put in some lamps on the other side. So I don't know if it's usable, the bed. It doesn't look like it. But um, if it isn't, it's probably easy, easily fixed. So it's a little TV with giant stereo system. Um, I don't know why you'd want that in your bedroom, but I threw it in there anyway. And um, double dressers, double wardrobes um, for your Sims to enjoy. And um, I put like little cabinets over them as well, you'll see. So there's a couple um, little chairs and a table. And um, oh, well, I don't know what I'm doing here. And I put in a drafting table in here just because um, there was a lot of extra space. So I just threw it in there. And um, a nice little sofa there. I love that sofa. Looks really cool. And um, some curtains and nice little palm trees which are nice and that's where I brought the orange in from the pots on the palm trees because you can't change the orange on there so you'll see I put in some like orange rugs and an orange painting and it actually looks really nice so um you know, there's the orange painting um and I use those little things again I use them upstairs as well and here comes the rugs which you'll see have like an orange border on them which I think looks really nice um yeah you know, there it is and I really like it I think this bedroom looks really nice and luxurious and that's pretty much it right there yeah very large very large indeed so this is the master bathroom which is definitely kind of over the top and um, it's got one of those showers which um, the sim supply came up with even though I didn't at the time I built this I didn't have the shower from the venue like the one that isn't encased in glass so I just use a normal shower here but I kind of had that glass wall kind of look like it's a separate shower shower section and you can see here I have like a little love seat there just so you can sit I don't know why that's there but it's there it's a giant bathroom plenty of room for it and um, that's like the shower section um, the shower sector of the bathroom if you will and it's like a little toilet and these sinks were perfect they fit over the window like the bottom window there and these mirrors fit like just under the upper window which was perfect really and there's that giant tub I put in in the corner, which conveniently cut off most of the window on the bottom. So I had to put some plants there in front to cover it up. You'll see I'll get there later. Um, yeah, but I love this master bathroom too. It's just enormous, but it looks really nice. Um, it's very luxurious, most certainly very luxurious. And um, yeah, so this is the little closet there. And I put these nice little archways over the door. And I also change out all the doors on the outside because I didn't like them. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so pretty much there you go. And I think we're going to start on the outdoor furnishings next. Um, or maybe landscaping, to be honest. I don't remember. Yeah, but first I paint under all the, like, all the freeze areas and under all the foundations black because I like it that way. It's nice and clean um, and unobstructed when you're looking in. But um, I paint under the ceilings here all black as well just because I thought it looked really nice. It was definitely very painstaking, and I did a lot of it off camera actually because it was getting very annoying and um, it was not necessary to record but um, don't worry you're not missing out on anything so yeah there we go that's pretty much all the um, things done there and uh, yes so that's all the under roof sections painted black conveniently and um, oh yeah I do do deck furniture here um, so I do put this nice fountain uh, along that one wall there by the entrance and I um, I put that little pond there, which I thought was nice, and uh, I put this fish statue there. Um, you can see the tub blocking the window there, the master bathroom bathtub. So I put these plants, these shrubs, and this plant, and more plants, and it actually looked really nice, so I kept it. And um, this little walkway here from the 
kind of a connecting bit between the two houses to the front step. So you can see I just have this nice little corridor of flowers um, with like a little sand pathway, which I thought looked kind of nice. And um, yeah, so I'm just painting grass underneath all the plants. And um, I'm also going to be putting in like a little boat area. Like if you kind of, I don't know, you'll see when it comes up. I put like a little boat, like it was abandoned in the shrubbery um, kind of thing. You'll see. Uh, so I put like a little flower bed. There's the boat trailer. There's the boat itself. And um, as you'll see, I'm going to put in like plants and stuff around it in kind of like a way. You can see like it was like kind of like left there. I don't know. Like it was driven there. I don't know. I thought that kind of looked nice. So, you know, it kind of just stuck around. So yeah, pretty much that's that. And um, there's a little mailbox there. I put some plants around it, which probably means it's not usable, but <laughs> you know, it looks nice. Um, I build for looks, not necessarily for um, usability. But um, here's a little deck chairs. I make them bright orange, which actually looks really nice. Um, so I just put a little table out the back porch here, so you can kind of like come out from the kitchen and eat outside, looking out over the ocean, which is probably very nice. Um, so I just put a bunch of these deck chairs everywhere, pretty much. Um, so I thought that was kind of nice. And I also put like a foosball table on this back balcony. Yeah, you can see it there. Um, so you can play foosball, and there's a little chair in the corner just because. So pretty much we're finishing up. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, you can check out my channel because there's more like this there. And um, yeah, so pretty much we're finishing up, and um, make sure to stick around for the shots at the end of the video of the house where it looks really nice and cool. And um, yeah, just doing landscape lighting here, making it look all nice and stunning. And um, yeah, pretty much that's that. I do some roof lighting as well. I always like to do that on modern houses. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a wonderful day. And um, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. So that's pretty much it for me. And enjoy the rest of the video. So yes, bye everyone. And have a great day.